is a Peter Bosch? Well, I think at least an artist. I'm also a psychologist and I studied computer music, so I'm also a musician, which uh -huh. is an artist as well, of course. I was brought up in Rotterdam and I studied in Leiden and Amsterdam. I studied psychology and uh, computer music in The Hague. When I started studying psychology, uh, I, I became soon a, a pop musician. I think that's also how I met Simone Simons. Um, she actually invited me to start a band with her. She studied uh, at the art school in Amsterdam. In the early beginnings, she didn't play any instrument, but she said, if you start a band with me, we can play in the Paradiso. So that's why it's how it started. And then later on, she started to play drums, and I, I always played the keyboards. Uh -huh. We have had a band together, but we also had uh, bands um, separately. When we started the band it was 1980, yeah. and it was a kind of avant-garde music. Well, I, I played before in punk bands, and then... I can't imagine so, you as a punk, Peter. <laughs> Must have been interesting times, huh? So it was, it was, was what you would call a kind of new intellectual new wave, maybe what what we did together. Sure. So. But what was the reason back in those days? Was it just something to do, or well, was there some some political agenda? Or? Well, for me personally, punk was was a kind of liberation of of disciplined society. So that's why I was very attracted to that. Freedom. Freedom uh, and anti-bourgeois. Yes. So, I mean, that, but then I'm talking about the 70s. Yes. Uh, when we met together, we went into another direction. Um, our first audiovisual cooperation were, were slides with sound, but since 86, our main work is installations. Since then, sound always has, has been um, very important in our work, mostly the, the source of inspiration to create our work. The work that you've got here is actually quite a very simple project in compared to what you've been doing. Yes. Is, 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 it the, is it the path of an artist to actually make things a lot simpler as they get older or they just get lazier or, or not as strong to carry 300 vacuum cleaners? No, I, I, I think, yes, well, it always has been uh, our aim to be, well, simple or at least efficient. Yes. Um, and I think what why this work maybe seems so simple compared to others is that because we, we have Likert who, who, who makes the image and we have a video camera and electronic image so, so the, the real physical part of, of the work can be rather simple while in the other works there, there is no camera, there's no electronic image, there's usually even no speakers so the work itself, if you want to have work sound and image in space, the work itself must be big and rather complex. While we were moving from pop music in, uh, into to electronic art, we also we, we did many more things. We also had cooperations with dance, um, mainly that you could say. We also did perf Simone did performance. What did she do herself? Um, acting or dancing? Or? No, acting and actually playing works that could have been installations as well. So that was maybe a kind of transition. Right. And then the reason for us to start uh, to do, let's say, pure installation work was that for us it was very interesting to create a work which would do other things than people would do. So el eliminate performance, performance and um, focus completely on, a, on an independent, more or less living